Listen, kiddo, they don't call Jerry LaBello the miracle man of showbiz for nothing. But this time I even outdid myself. I, me personally, saved Christmas. All right, all right. So I did get a little help from an elf. He came to Hollywood with a couple of his flaky friends. I wonder if people are going to think we're weird, being elves and all. <laughs> uh, guess not. Nothing like that at the North Pole. <laughs> How'd you like to deck the halls with those, huh, Art? <laughs> the elf wrote a song. Eh, it's cute, but it probably won't last. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Of course Variety can have the exclusive, but I gotta get page one. You got a deal. It started at the North Pole. The ink on their books was redder than the fat man's suit. How long have I been telling you this was going to happen? But no, you never listen. Just spend, spend, spend. More toys, more books, more presents. You're broke. But Murray, I'm Santa. How can Santa be broke? When Santa owes more money than Santa has in the bank, Santa is broke. It's over. No Christmas. Oh, we can't cancel Christmas. Now you know why I've been telling you to expand the naughty list. No, not you. Mr. Forgiveness, you're still giving presents to Madonna. But that's what makes Christmas special. You don't see the looks on people's faces when they open those presents, the joy it brings them. Now, if you'd worked with me and enforced your trademark like I told you to, I'd have a few billion more to work with. But no, you went public domain. I think Mrs. Claus has put aside a rainy day fund. History. Oh, we can't cancel Christmas. Shut the window, it's freezing! Will do, Art. <gasps> Something ain't right. This is what, three weeks before Christmas? And we ain't pushed one order through. I had lunch with Louie from Games and Puzzles, and he says they're in the same boat. <gasps> Got the window. Richie, I think you're a few Christmas lights short of a tree. <laughs> I'm losing circulation here. Where's Buddy with my mittens? <laughs> Where he always is, playing his dumb guitar. Again? Him and his stupid music. He's never around when you need him. I ought to fire him. <laughs> That'll warm me up. Buddy! Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Buddy Elf, and here's my new Christmas song. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock Jingle around the clock Mix and mingle in the jingle and be Yeah, the second bar. That's a nice touch. Buddy! Oh, I'm being paged. Later, music fans. Finally! Uh, sorry it took so long. I, I got every style, size, and color I could find. I've been waiting here, freezing my buns off, because you're dipping with that dumb guitar. What do you say I burn it for firewood? Sir, if you just hear my new Christmas song, you'd change your mind. It's great. It's like nothing you've ever heard before. A whole new sound for Christmas. What do I always say? No, no, and no! But you gave me your word. <laughs> and it's almost Christmas. I don't want to hear about it. I'm telling you, we don't need no more Christmas songs. If we did, Santa would ask the head of the music department, me, for the new song. Now go check the stockroom for, uh, I don't know, harmonicas or something. Never mind, Peggy Sue. 
Art's gotta listen one day. So, I'm afraid you all know the situation we're in. Christmas is in jeopardy. Until I can find a way to restore our finances, I'm afraid I've no choice but to let you go. <gasps> no Christmas? Oh, I feel terrible. Santa running in the red? Go figure. We could help out. Earn some money in the real world. Did I give you permission to talk? Did I give him permission to talk? This is our chance. We can sell my new Christmas song. How many times I gotta tell you? No! <laughs> I'm not gonna stand around here and watch Christmas disappear. I'm gonna do something. <laughs> Mikey's gonna sell his song, make loads of money, save Christmas, and get a big promotion. <laughs> Isn't that funny, Art? <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, it's not funny. It's terrible. If anybody's gonna save Christmas and get a big promotion, <laughs> it's gonna be me. Hey, uh, pass over another blanket. You do know where you're going, don't you? Yeah. A place where people appreciate music and are full of the Christmas spirit. Nothing like that at the North Pole. <laughs> How'd you like to get the holes with those, huh, Art? <laughs> I wonder if people are gonna think we're weird, being elves and all. I guess not. Check these out, Richie. <gasps> She'd get awfully cold at the North Pole. Oh, I hope we're in the right place, Peggy Sue. It's gotta be 80 degrees above zero. You know, we got a sauna down the hall, and the cable actually works. Oh, I could get used to Christmas like this. So, what would you like from Santa? Beat it, you lounge lizard. Where's that buddy with my refill? Buddy! I've got this can't-miss song to sell. Knock it off! Oh! I'm getting the feeling this is a tough town. Hey! Welcome to the special Christmas edition of Star Seekers, the premier talent show where stars are made overnight. Auditions for tonight's show will begin shortly. Please stay in line and kindly remember our rules. No shoving, backstabbing, sabotaging, undermining, plagiarizing, and of course, no smoking. Hey, buddy! You forgot my guitar pick! Oh, sorry, sir. I never knew you two wanted to be singers. Me? The head of the music department? You win this gig, and you're a star. Record deals, concert tours, a pile of money. We're talking big time. Along with some other fringe benefits. <laughs> but you're forgetting Christmas. If we win, the $100,000 prize will help Santa save Christmas. Yeah, yeah, that too. Look! I ain't worried. Tonight, we're gonna save... I didn't know anyone was listening. Sorry about that. You're good. Really good. Thanks. N nice costume. Are you auditioning for the show? Yeah, I've got a song. How about you? Well, I'm supposed to, but I can't. I'm too nervous. I'm a wreck. I love to sing, just not in front of people. Listen, you can't let the jitters stop a voice like yours. I'll let you in on my secret. Thank you. 
Don't fax us. We'll fax you. Don't call me. Next. Call my person. Number 54, we'll Holly LaBello. <clears throat> the first Noel. Speak up, honey. They gotta hear you in the first row. I... Why not, Charlie? Why not? Imagining the audience in their underwear. Huh. Takes the edge off every time. <laughs> Beautiful, honey, beautiful. I knew you could do it. A nightingale, smooth as glass. Did you really like it, Uncle Jerry? Like it? I love it, baby. Love it. Our producer informs me that you've been selected for tonight's show. Please return tonight, 7 o'clock, sharp. Oh, wow. No special treatment, right? Because I'm your niece? Listen, honey, I didn't become the producer of the number one talent show in the world by passing out favors. What are you doing, challenging my integrity? Why not? Everyone cheats on their taxes. Now, baby, go rest, please. Be ready for tonight. Make your uncle proud. Good luck, buddy. And thanks. Any time, Holly. Where do you think you're going? To sing. Huh? Hey, uh, give her back. <laughs> what I say is, Richie and me are the singers, and you are the roadie. But, sir, you can't do this. My new Christmas song. We got our own Christmas song, buddy boy, and it's a good one, too. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Okay, who's next? Number 55, the elves. Oh, there's been a change. The artists formerly known as the elves now known as two bad boys from way up north. <laughs> Santa trade in his reindeer for a topper. Can't afford the payroll for a reindeer fight. Rudolph was as quiet as a whisper. Now Santa's burning rubber to the side. While the elves the way, Santa's on the move with his red leather suit and his new tattoo. Popping with his Oh, Peggy Sue. I can't believe it. Those two clowns robbed me of my chance to audition. It was my idea to come here in the first place. They don't even like to sing. Well, forget them. I got just as much right to audition as they do. I've been working on this song all year. I know it's good. Maybe he should take a break until next year. He should take a break until next year. <laughs> <laughs> well. It appears our producer has actually selected you as our final act for tonight's show. <laughs> this officially ends our auditions. Art and Richie don't need me, that's for sure. Say so long, Peggy Sue. We're going home. We took up a collection, Santa. Ninety-eight dollars and twelve cents. Do you think it'll help? Sure it will, boys. Mrs. Claus and I will never forget this. Makes you proud to be Santa, but it's not enough to save Christmas. One word, Santa. Timeshare. We could make a fortune. Now, Murray. Infomercial? I'm going to my grandma's for Christmas. Is that your guitar? Do you play? I used to. 
My mom makes me play piano. But I'd rather play baseball. We're all going to play at Grandma's. Sounds like fun. I'm the best one. That's because of my lucky glove, see? It's real old. Do you have a lucky glove? I don't have a lucky anything right now. I've run out of good luck. That's terrible! That's my bus. Bye! Here. Huh? What's this for? A Christmas present. Oh, I can't take this. It's okay. I asked Santa for a new lucky glove. He always comes through. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas! I know, Peggy Sue. What was I thinking? I've been all wrapped up in myself. I'm down here to save Christmas, not give up on it. Ten to seven. There's still time. I've got to help Santa, and my best chance to do that is to help... Ugh, Art and Richie. When I see that little punk, I'm gonna wring his neck! Bye! I'm late. You're lucky I don't fire you. Uh, look, it's going to be tough out there tonight. Uh, Holly's got a real sweet voice. Look, I ain't worried. It's just that Christmas is riding on this. I thought you could use my song. It's a can't miss. Sure, we'd be happy to take your song. Uh, no! You always wanted to know what I thought of it. Now you know. Ah! What's this? Da 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 da. Hmm, catchy. I wonder who wrote it. Jingle bell swing. Hey, Jingle bell my swing. song. Holly, buddy, how'd you get my song? This is your song. It's the best Christmas song I ever heard. I'm glad somebody likes it. I, I didn't think anybody was ever gonna hear it. The world should hear it. Well, I'd be honored if you'd sing it tonight. I, I mean, if you really like it. Five minutes to showtime, Ms. Labello. And remember, we're live, so no fainting, sweating, swearing, rude gesturing, and of course, make sure you're all zipped up. Buddy, I've got a better idea. We should sing it together. Really? We've got to tell my uncle. Sis. Turn on your TV. Holly's gonna win. It's all set. Uh, Uncle Jerry? I know, because I picked the act she's up against. They are pathetic. <gasps> How could you, Uncle Jerry? Didn't you think I was good enough to win on my own? Baby, you don't understand. You rigged the show. You didn't believe in me. Holly, wait! Pathetic? Does that mean we're not good? It means we stink! It means we can kiss the big time goodbye! Ah, oh, I thought we sung like angels. You know something, Richie? Maybe we still can. And welcome to our very special Christmas edition of Star Seekers, the premier talent show where stars are made overnight. Yeah! Our first performers, two bad boys from way up north. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh, all the fields we go, uh -huh. laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright, bright, bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Come on out, Holly. I've heard you sing and you've got real talent. It doesn't matter what your uncle did. Right, tell her. I'm slime. I'm scum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a producer. <laughs> I won't do it this way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a world horse open sleigh. Yeah! 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 
coaches give them a perfect score. Nobody's ever received a perfect score before. Unbelievable! Especially if you'd heard their audition. Looks like we're gonna win the dough and save Christmas. Yeah, sure. After we deduct our expenses, commissions, the new limo, and a little something for our time and services, <laughs> there might be a few dollars left over for Santa. <laughs> <laughs> and that leaves a tough job for our next performer, Holly LaBello. You need an act, Uncle Jerry? Here's your guy, Mr. LaBello. Time, time. Okay, you, Elf. Go, go. Polly, I won't do it without you. Go! And now, please welcome warmly, Buddy and Holly! Original. And so that's how I save Christmas. What do you mean it sounds like I'm taking too much credit? That's what producers do. Thank you. 